this isn't the best <laughs> this isn't the best angle that I wasn't planning on filming right now but oh my gosh I have to show you what I'm making so I'm making this recipe off of Pinterest and it is for shrimp enchiladas I haven't even added the shrimp this is just the sauce that goes with the shrimp let me show you this does this not look delicious this is like salsa cream cheese monterey jack cheese garlic onion cilantro this looks delicious and i haven't even added the shrimp yet oh my gosh this looks so good and i'm trying to make dinner right now it's like 2 30 because josh is going to be home late Probably not even until 7, and that's like the time we're getting kitchen cleaned up, living room cleaned up, diapers changed, pajamas on. Like, that's a busy time. And when I normally try to come in here and start making dinner around 5, it's just so hectic and chaotic. I feel like the boys are done, I'm done, and it just, they're upset, and they want me, and I'm in here trying to cook. So I thought, why not just go ahead and start cooking now? have it done and then when I want to warm it up later I'll just put it in the air fryer and that way it'll like crisp up the outside of the tortilla shell so right now I'm working on unthawing the shrimp and then I'm going to add it to this sauce I actually think I'm going to taste a little bit of it Let's see what it tastes like this looks so good That is going to taste delicious with shrimp. Oh, oh my gosh, this looks amazing. I'm so excited. All right, so I finally got all the shrimp mixed in on the tortillas, into the pan, and into the oven. This looks so good. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, they are all wrapped up. I have just a little bit left. I had to kind of smush them in there, but oh, these are gonna be amazing, I can just tell. So here it is. It looks and smells so good. I just ran it through the air fryer for like five minutes to kind of crisp it up and warm it back up. So we are going to do a taste test. Let me get some of the tortilla, some of the shrimp, and some of the sauce oh it smells good it smells like sauce <sighs> oh my gosh it's so good I wish I'd made some rice do I have rice okay let's try with a little bit of sour cream and lettuce Next time I want to add green peppers, red peppers, rice. Mm. This is delicious. This is, mm, it's so good. Okay, so the verdict on the shrimp enchiladas, it's really good, but it's really rich. Um, it did take a whole block of cream cheese. And now I just, oh, like, look how much I still have, which granted, Josh has to eat dinner, but it's almost not something I can eat again tomorrow because it's so rich. Like, I'm full. That was good. It hit the spot. Hold on, baby. But it's not something that I can, like, jump into again that quick. Oh, my belly. It was so good, though. Oh, maybe next time. Well, two, I accidentally added way too much salsa. But I almost feel like it would have been richer, even more rich, without the salsa to kind of like mellow out all the cream cheese. Maybe next time I'll do half the cream cheese. I think maybe. I think next time I do half the amount of cream cheese. But it's good. I can't deny. It was scrumdiliumptious. But now I need Tums or 
something. So today I decided I'm going to try these cauliflower wings. This is the buffalo style. I also have the barbecue style. Look how big these suckers are. I'm excited to try these. So I just want to show you these before I pop them in the air fryer. And then we will test these out after they're cooked. And here is the sauce. I wonder what I'm supposed to do with the sauce pouch. Um, I don't know. I'll figure that out and I'll let you know. But anyway, this is what we're going to be trying today for lunch. Alright, so here they are. Here they are out of the air fryer and they smell so good. It's making my mouth water actually that buffalo sauce. Ugh, that looks like a toe. Don't mind me. It's fine. All right, so let's try one of these just with the sauce and all. I'm going to grab one of these little small ones. Oh my gosh, that's uh, mouth watering. I also got ranch here to try with this. Guys, that's not bad. That is not bad. <sighs> wow. Let's try it with some ranch. I think it needs some ranch. Okay, I have another one of these little ones. I'm gonna dip it in some ranch. That is not bad. I don't think it would pass with Josh. But for me, I am pretty doggone impressed. Try these out. Like I said, I have the buffalo ones. But they also have it in barbecue. So we'll have to try that some other time. But let me see what the... 3.5 servings, two, four, six. Okay, so it's maybe not the best thing, but I bet it's less than eating regular wings. So, oh, I have french fries. Eh, I didn't warm them up. But yeah, cauliflower wings, not half bad. Are you happy to be back outside? A little bit. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're going to go inside in about 10 minutes. We don't want to get too cold. All right, do your bicycle. Let me see. Ready, go. Go, Bubba. Yeah, you're doing a good job. Yeah. All right, turn around. Do it again. Ready, go. Daddy. Yeah. Come on, big boys. Scoot up. Come here. There you go. Ready? There you go. Good job, Bubba. Get my pants. Woohoo! T-R-S-T-U-V W-X-Y-N-Z Now I know my ABCs Next time, won't you think with me? That was great. What do you want to sing? <gasps> twinkle, twinkle. What is this? You want to sing Jesus Loves Me? Yeah. Wow, that's a big truck. Alright, ready? Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, yes Jesus, Jesus loves me. me. Yes.
Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. That was great. So as you know, I had to, oh, I had to send my computer off because the keyboard is messed up. Well, I have my old laptop, but I cannot find the cord for it anywhere. And it's an HP, where my new one is an Acer. And so the plug-in is too large for the HP. So I started looking on Amazon, and I found these wireless uh, Bluetooth keyboards and m mouses. Mice? Mouse? Keyboard and mouse combo. Okay, and so I got this. It was like 20 bucks. Amaton? Amaton? I don't even know, right? But I got it in this rose gold color to match my phone case. And it works. It took me a minute to figure it out. I had to hook up the keyboard first, type in a code, and then I couldn't get the mouse to re connect through Bluetooth and I kept hitting the connect button twice but actually what I needed to do was just hold it down and then it recognized it so now they are both set up I'm so excited so now I can go do my description boxes for my videos because I didn't do them on my regular computer obviously because I couldn't type on my keyboard the only issue I'm having with this is that the delete button is a lot farther over than I'm used to so when I'm typing and I just go to hit it's I have to actually move my hand over further. But that's not a super big deal to have the convenience of a mouse and a keyboard to do my description boxes and not have to sit there and do this. So this is a five out of five from Amazon. Oh, let me use my mouse. All right, so here we have Wessie's old room. And it has kind of <laughs> just become a dumping ground for everything that I don't know what to do with right now. Um, but I'm ready to get this cleaned up. I I wanna make this into the boys' playroom for their toys and their books and everything. So I decided I'm just gonna kinda of start in one section, start working my way through. I've got some garbage bags. I'm gonna start by going through the clothes because I need to see if I have any 3T stuff for Weston. Because if not, I'm going to have to purchase some. Because he can do two T-shirts. But he is... <laughs> the kid cannot do two T-pants anymore. He needs to bump up to 3T. Um, so, like I said, I'm just going to start in one section. And start working my way through. And we'll see what we get. I told Josh it was going to take an hour. So, I'm going to start in this section. And we'll see where I am in an hour. I technically have 10 minutes left, but I'm going to stop and go sit with the boys because they're starting to cry and they're getting tired, um, which Josh is in there with them, but I'm going to go snuggle them before bed. <sighs> Let me show you what I accomplished in my 50 minutes. So I pulled out all the clothes here and I put away everything that is too small for him now. So now I just need to obviously reorganized once I wash the clothes that I found that will fit. Here's everything that's too small. I pulled a lot of toys off the floor and put them in here. They're not sorted yet, but at least they're up and off the floor. These books are going to end up up here because um, toys are going to end up where they can get a hold of them as well as some board books, but other books that are more like papery ones that I'll read with them will go up here. This is school stuff that I don't want them getting into, um, like glue gun and stuff. So that stuff will be sorted up higher. This whole shelf still needs taken care of, but I just didn't get back there because I was busy with everything on the floor. Here we have trash. Um, here we have some toys that have been sorted. They're art easel. I put all, this is all my stuff that needs dealt with, so this may head to the basement after I organize it, but at least it's not on the floor. Went through and organized their school stuff, the coloring books, and some extra art supply stuff, and I put all the diapers up on the changing table for me to sort, and then this is more toys that need sorted, as well as um, some stuff for Play-Doh. So I put all the Play-Doh stuff in here. So it isn't perfect yet, but 
you can actually walk in here. Things actually have somewhat of a place. Like if I'm like, hey, I, well, I need the Play-Doh stuff. I know right now that it's in this box. If I need diapers, they're actually all over here again. Um, all their school stuff is on this shelf. So I feel like this was a really good start to being able to get this room organized into their playroom. So that was my little chunk of time today. Hopefully I will get another chunk of time tomorrow to get in here and work. Okay, ignoring the mess that is my life. <laughs> Let me give you a quick little haul here of some stuff I got for spring. So I ran to Cato, which is a plus size clothing store because I wanted to find something for Easter. Now, I'm just, maybe I'll try it on and show you. I don't know, but I need plus size fashion companies to understand that when you're plus size, that doesn't just mean you're, mean you're wider. Sometimes it also means you're longer, okay? So I got this really cute shirt that I thought would be so cute for Easter, but because of this bottom part, the, what would you call that, the seam? The seam stops almost entirely under my boobs. And then the shirt stops way too high. And that's so frustrating because it's a cute shirt and it's wide enough. But y'all, plus size girls need more length. Okay. That's my rant for today. So anyway, that whole bag has to go back. But then I grabbed these shoes. They were on sale for $3.99. Look how cute they are. These little wine shoes. And yeah, they're more fall, but geez. Like I said, for 4 bucks originally, 16 You just couldn't beat that. So I grabbed those and then I had to get the boys some sippies because I have the ones that are, what do you call it, silicone? Like the silicone top, but they keep biting them. So I just picked up some of these 99 cent ones. So I don't, I don't even know. They probably spill. Do they even have a stopper in the top? I didn't even look. Ugh, I don't know. I need to get my life together and get them off the sippies, I guess. Oh, they do. They have little stoppers, so hopefully they won't spill everywhere. But again, they're just 97 cents, and I grabbed four of them because they keep tearing up the more expensive ones. So, those need to go in the washer, dishwasher. And then I picked them up some clothes. I got them each a set of these for Easter. I thought those were super cute. So, let's see. Easter stuff needs to go in a bag. I picked up... I'm trying not to say anything specifically out loud because the little one will hear me. I picked them up some of these so we can go outside and play. Um, a big bottle of this goodness because we're always on the porch or outside and we can always play with that always a uh, winner. I also picked up this because we had one last year but it died. So I got that for outside as well for Easter. Then I picked them up each. Oh, I need batteries. I picked them each up one of these as well. And that was from Walmart. And I almost ordered some of that stuff offline off Amazon. But it was way more expensive. It was kind of ridiculous. Alright, so here's other ones. Here's a little outfit. So they'll both get matching PJs for Easter. I picked me up a pair of tennis shoes. I hope these are good. These are actually men's. I don't know why, but I feel like men's do better. And so I just ended up getting a seven and a half wide in men's instead of like a nine and a half ten in women's. So I finally picked me up a pair of actual tennis shoes because I want to start walking when the weather gets nice. My only fear is that the soles will lose traction. That's what happens a lot of time when I buy like these Walmart brand shoes is that the this loses traction. So we'll see. But anyway, then for Easter... I got them both a pair of these sandals for church or if we go anywhere nice. So, 
pick those up. Of course, they match. There's only so long that I can make them both match, so I'm going to take advantage of it while I can. Shoes are mine. These need to go in the dish. Oh, I meant to pick up another shoe rack. Darn it. Okay, clothes. I bought them each three pairs of shorts and three t-shirts. So here is one for Steven, just a little red shirt with these black shorts and the shirt says, bring it home, this little baseball shirt. I hope you can hear me, I'm kind of yelling. Um, and then, oh, I forgot, I finally found ink so I can do their chore charts. Let's see, these are more shorts. This is his, I think, is this Steven's? Yeah, this one is Steven's. It says, awesome like dad. And I got these little gray shorts to go with it. Oh, did I get him? Wait a minute. Yeah, these little gray shorts, I mean. And then I got him this shirt that says, Let's have fun and be happy. That's like orange and camo. And then to go with that, I got him these camo and gray shorts. And then for Wes, I got him this shirt that says good vibes. This shirt that says be happy. And then this cute little shirt that is a submarine. Should have got Steven one of those for when we go to the aquarium. And then I got Weston some gray shorts, some blue shorts, and a pair of black shorts. So that's their clothes that needs to go in the washer. Okay. And then also for Easter, pick these up at a local store. These two little, aren't those cute? And they're actually the Real Deal Peeps brand. But they were only $2.99 each. So I got them both one for Easter. Then I also grabbed this book for $4.99. Five Minute Bible Stories for Bedtime. And it's got these really cute pictures. And just a little story on every page. So I thought we could read one each night before bed. I like it because I thought that the pictures were really nicely done and very colorful. So that'll be something fun for bed. That's for Easter as well. And then these two are for their Easter baskets. These little slide and peek. They really like these where like they can move the pictures. They like those kinds of books. So we have this one on the farm and this one in the ocean so their easter is done for and then i need to wash these clothes these need to go to the kitchen so yeah i guess now i'll take tags off these clothes and wash them i guess i'll go wash their clothes now yay more laundry.